remember when we were told that the number of brain cells that we were born with was all we were ever going to have for the rest of our lives? Turns out that isn't true. Recent research in neuroscience has proven that we're able to create new brain cells, connections, and pathways in the brain over the course of our lives. So the importance of this information is, is that it's possible to prevent the deterioration of the mind and to maintain the brain's ability to learn in an effective way, even in old age. So learning can be and should be lifelong from birth until death. But in order to create new brain cells, we need to keep our brains healthy and active. So I'm going to give you five strategies. The information that I'm going to relate to you is primarily from Canadian neuroscientist Dr. Justin Davis, and you can access all of this information on www.noggins.com. I went to a workshop of his last year and was really fascinated by the information and thought that it would be a valuable message to pass on to others. So here are the five strategies. First one is nutrition. Even though our brain only represents 2% of our body weight, it actually consumes 20% of our daily energy intake. So we need to feed our brains well. Start off with a healthy breakfast, more than just a cup of coffee, and eat enough each day so that our brains function optimally. The second strategy is physical fitness. Exercise is really important for the brain because it actually generates and sustains brain cells. Um, exercise is, keeps our heart and lungs healthy to pump blood and nutrients to our brain, and studies have shown that exercise actually improves performance on different cognitive tests such as memory. And some employers and teachers are on board with this and get their employees or their students to engage in some kind of um, exercise during the workday to increase cognitive performance. A third strategy for keeping the mind sharp is socialization. Uh, humans are highly social beings and relationships stimulate our minds even relationships with pets. Uh, new research has shown that loneliness and social isolation put older adults at risk of suffering for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. These are two significant factors. Uh, so we have to remember to uh, keep in contact with our friends and our neighbors and family. Okay, so luckily there are many ways to be social in Golden through the different classes, resources, and clubs. You can volunteer, join the curling club, enroll in a computer writing class at the College of the Rockies or through Seaball. There are lots of examples. Another strategy to keep the brain healthy is stress management. A little stress is okay, Oops. but too much actually damages and kills brain cells. It shrinks our brain and causes premature brain aging. So we need to find ways to avoid and alleviate stressors. You have to find out what works for you. Is it meditation, exercise, music, art, yoga? The last strategy for a healthy brain lifestyle is mental stimulation. We just have to remember two things. Number one, we need to engage in new and challenging mental activities. So the best brain exercises are those that are unfamiliar to you, that break your routine, and that encourage you to use and develop new brain pathways. The second thing we need to remember is that we need to engage in a variety of stimulating exercises that will improve the different functions of the brain, like, whoa. <laughs> okay, anyway, like um, concentration, focus, word skills. And so doing um, crossword puzzles is a really excellent way to, uh, is an excellent exercise for mental stimulation, but we need to do other activities as well that improve the different functions like coordination and critical thinking. So brain fitness is kind of like physical fitness. Uh, you would never go to the gym and just do bicep curls. You need to work out the whole body, and the brain is very similar with this holistic style of training. So those are the five strategies for maintaining a healthy brain lifestyle. Nutrition, exercise, socialization, stress management, and mental stimulation. It's pretty encouraging to know that our brains can continue to grow over the course of our lives and that um, we can continue to learn effectively into old age. We just need to remember that it takes a bit of work. We need to keep, it, we need to keep our brains healthy and fit, just like our bodies. And as Christina was saying, Christina Benti was saying earlier, um, 
Our brain is like an expensive piece of real estate, so we need to take good care of it. So try incorporating the five strategies into your daily routine. Enroll in a writing class, go for a walk, do the crossword puzzles. There are all kinds of formal and informal ways to maintain your brain health. Um, so all the best on your quest to maintain your brain. Thank you. Thank you very much, Monica. I'm doing the first of her five strategies by eating. <laughs>